Hello guys, uh, Brad Jimenez of uh, Eastern Long Island Sound Fishing. Uh, today we're gonna do three things. Um, first is unboxing of my new um, Quantum Acuris. Uh, to be specific, this is the model number uh, 8100HPTA. Okay. Um, I will primarily use this for uh, shallow jigging and I'll go into details later and then next we would also do a DYI line spooling using um, a power pro super slick um, v2 which has 8 strand and also we would also try to see if I can upgrade the power the handle into a power handle using um, the, the handle of my Shimano Trunks 300 uh, again because this will be a jigging reel a shallow jigging reel okay so uh, the Quantum Acuris was made famous by uh, John Skinner a very popular vlogger or um, here in the Northeast uh, in New York he usually fishes um, with the quantum acris uh, for fluke or flounder and uh, um, I, I've been watching a lot of his video and I thought I decided to get get one myself um, number one again I prefer bait casters because they are light uh, this one is only 7.5 ounces and uh, this one also is a uh, high speed gear ratio it's uh, 7 is to 1 and the max drag is 18 pounds which really I, uh, it doesn't matter for me because I, I, I wouldn't even go near that because this is mainly for uh, fluke or flounder, porgies, black sea bass um and blackfish so i don't i really don't need that much uh uh drag okay uh okay let's open it so i can show you the reason why i decided to also get the quantum accuracy i believe this is the latest version um this is the 2020 version and it has been out of stock um, for a while and the only time um, I got this one from Amazon uh, discounted price the original price is 99 I got it at 92 uh, there was only four in stock so I decided to get one um, the main reason why I decided to get this bait caster is because of the uh, they call this the flip switch or flipping switch um, in which its main purpose is a typical bait caster is when you press the thumb bar it releases the spool or disengages the spool and, and goes to free spool and to engage this to engage the gear you have to turn it okay now when you, you you switch to uh the flipping function what happens is when you press the thumb bar it will put your spool into free spool however when you release the pressure it will engage your, your spool again okay and what's the use for that um, again, I will use this for shallow jigging. Uh, shallow jigging meaning uh, the deepest would be close to 50, 50 feet, but no more than that. Um, so when we fish, uh, when we jig for fluke or flounder, what we do is I will call it as bounce jigging. So I will release the line let let it uh, sink and when it hits the bottom I will engage lift the lure a little bit but close to the bottom and just bounce it up and down like this okay until I get a bite of course 
Now, let's say um, the water got deeper and you need to release more lines. So I'm, as you can see, I'm holding on my right, right hand, okay? Because I'm right-handed. All I need to do is just press the thumb bar, release some line. When I touch bottom, release it again. And you know, I can jig again. Um, typically, if I'm using a typical or a standard bait caster without the flipping or the flip uh, function, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna release the line. When I hit bottom, then I have to crank the handle to engage the, the to to engage the, the gears. Okay, and it's not it doesn't matter that much if you think of it. However, if you're fishing all day long, it will make a difference. Okay, the less movement you do, the less energy you're using. Okay, so that's why I decided also to um, to get an Acris, and luckily I found. It available in uh, in the Amazon because because of John Skinner. John Skinner is very uh, popular. Uh, it seems a lot of people started buying uh, Acuras. Um, now the only thing is, as you can see, it came. It comes with um, a double paddle handle, so it's it's short and it's not really uh, designed for for jigging. So I have my um, handle here from uh, a Trunks 300 and I'll try to see hopefully it's gonna fit um, hopefully I'm gonna get lucky that when I open it this is um, uh, the shaft the handle shaft is 8 by 5 millimeters which is you know very common among reels so we'll see okay Let's see if we can upgrade the Grid the power handle, so I need a flathead screwdriver. Okay. I'll find out if this is eight by five millimeters. Let's see if I'm gonna get lucky. yes i think it's eight by five all right so let's take this off okay and let's see if it's gonna fit yes perfect fit all right okay. all right let's put a little grease first And by the way, I will uh, pair this with uh, six foot. I forgot the rating. I think it's medium light rating. Uh, six foot uh, tsunami air wave. Oh, I'm sorry, slim wave rod, which again I got from Amazon on sale for eighty nine dollars. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's about a hundred dollars regular price. So I love. Uh, getting a good deal <laughs> so I'm very patient uh, waiting until you know there's the prices comes down and usually I get a good price even with the uh, JNH or not JNH but tackle direct I would I would uh, time to time get lucky and get a good deal alright so I'm using um, so in my previous video, um, I I said that if you're gonna use uh, the handle, this is a Shimano handle from a Shimano Tranks. If you're gonna use it with other reels, you would al also need to use the um, the nut, okay, from the Tranks, okay, and then you also need the nut retainer 
and the nut retainer screw okay so when 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 you decide let's say you decided to uh, use the power handle from a Shimano Trans and you bought it on uh, you bought it from Shimano parts make sure when you buy the power handle you also include the nut nut retainer and also the nut screw okay because you're not gonna be able to use the one that came with the accuracy okay so that over tighten it because we have to line up the nut retainer to the the screw hole so a little bit more there you go doesn't have to be really tight let's put a little grease there all right now this is a jigging wheel um so the spec states that braid line it will hold uh, 170 yards of 30 pounds but I am not gonna use 30 pounds um, this year we decided to uh, use lighter lines uh, so it's we can use lighter lures okay like the, the thinner the line the less the current will drag the the line so we decided to use lighter line so we're using 30 uh, for our uh, my big uh, bit caster no not really I'm, I'm using just 20 now 20 20 pounds for my Shimano Tranks 400 20 pounds for my uh, Shimano Tranks 300 and for this I'm just gonna use 15 pounds 150 yards 15 pounds of uh, power pro super slick uh, it has eight strands all right so it's gonna be smooth all right, so next would be I would spool, um, I would spool the Quantum Acris with a Power Pro Super Slick uh, V2 uh, braid line, and so stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. So this is my uh, spooling station here. I'm using a Berkeley spooling station. I have two clamps to keep it in place. And then, um, although this Berkeley spooling station has um, a, a spool holder for the braid, um, I opted to get another another one. All right, this is the spool holder I use because this one I can really put pressure on the spool to uh, give it tension. So when I spool uh, line to the reel, to the reel, you know it's tight, so the red line bite. Okay. So pretty much the Berkeley spooling station, I just use it as a my reel holder. Okay, there you go. That's, uh, then I also have like a piece of athletic tape here that I put on uh, on the spool. So when I tie the braid line, it will prevent it from slipping because it has a smooth spool. Okay, there you go. It's done. So this is a, a Power Pro Super Slip 8 strand V2. Okay. I forgot how much I bought it, but I think it's in the $20. 150 yards of 15 pound test. That's more than enough. Uh, it's for a fluke or flounder if uh, you guys are not familiar with it. Um, it's uh, usually around four uh, seven the keeper is 19 inches so 19 inches i believe it's maybe uh more than five pounds i believe so it's not that big so 15 pounds is more than enough and also i'll be using um this is as i've said shallow for shallow um, jigging so I'm not gonna be using heavy lures um, maybe around a, an ounce two ounce uh, 
maybe maybe uh, up to four ounces but as much as possible I'm gonna go light and when you have a thin line you have a light line you have a thin line and it's it will be easier to uh, get the jig to get to the bottom I'm gonna flip the spool so the braid line will be com coming from the bottom and not from the top now it'll be like same now it will be lined up with the spool. Oh, I'm sorry, with the with the reel. Okay. Again, then spring. So I will press it as hard as I can to make it really tight. Put a lot of tension to the spool. So as a reel, it will be very tight to prevent line bite we'll make a hangman's knot it's okay. a hangman hangman's knot now we'll lock it by making a, a overhand knot at the end and just pull let it okay. there you go now that's tight and Usually I would even hold on to the spool here to make it even tighter but um, I'm only putting 150, uh, 150 yards of line so I don't really need to do it. Uh, I think this is tight enough to, uh, that it will prevent the line bite. Alright we're almost done here. Fifty yards, fifteen pounds is just about right. Anyway, so again, this will be my uh, shallow jigging reel, no more than fifty feet. Um, average would be thirty for twenty to thirty feet of jigging. Um, most probably, I'll be using uh, two pound. Uh, I'm sorry, two ounce jig. Um, uh, either a bucktail, but my favorite really is the Shimano Lucanus. Uh, you know. Uh, I haven't caught um, I haven't caught a uh, flounder yet or fluke or flounder with the Lucanus jig but I did caught a lot of um, black sea bass, sea bass with it so I'm gonna try I'm gonna, still gonna try to see if I can catch um, a flounder with the uh, Shimano Lucanus alright so if you like this video please do hit the like button and if you haven't sub subscribed yet please do subscribe and thank you for watching